Hey guys, Colby here, and today we're gonna do an account takeover on Jerry Vera's account. So um, as you can see, Jerry Vera's account is um, so uh, yeah, he's got a he's got a quite a few legendary. So he's got a Venus right here. The Venus has lots of accuracy, uh, lots of speed, the low defense, and um, uh, from the items that we see here, Venus is okay. Um, he's got a Shiri money right here. And Alton with about yeah he's got good good amount of defense here. He's got um he's got a Machalt here, and Machalt also has like lots of speed. He's got a ton of attack, ton of critical damage, critical rate, uh, and that's very nice. I think it's it's sufficient. We've got a miscreated monster here with lots of accuracy. The speed's a bit low, critical rate's a bit low. Um, we've got quite a few legendaries actually here. We've got a Razin, but he's not maxed out. And uh, yeah, the accuracy is quite low. We need a banner there to make use of Arazin. And yeah, we also have a Duchess Lily too. She'll definitely need re-gearing. Uh, get some lifesteal sets on. We've got a Skull Crusher who has not been modified at all. A uh, Krisk, of course, but level 50. So he won't be any of use for this tune-up. And we also have Royal Guard. A Cold Guard at level 50. So Spider is going to be an issue. Uh, but we should be able to find some way around it because of all those legendaries, guys. So even with one cold hearted and one royal guard, uh, we've got apothecary, a cold brawler for the poison, but he's still level 50, no war master, so we can't really use him in the clan boss there. Another royal guard, uh, another cold heart, stagnite there, got a frozen banshee. Uh, okay, so we've got quite a few other leg legendary dupes in there: Alton, Razin dupe uh, in the vault. So. Let's go quickly through the dungeons and see where he's at right now. Let's go to the ice golems. And ice golems, I think he told me he was stuck around 17. Yeah, 17. So we're going to do uh, ice golems 20. Uh, this is a team that he used. Uh, I think it's a good team. I think it's a good team. He just needs regearing on all of the champions. Maybe not. Venus is not required here uh, because ice golems is a tanky, uh, tanky um, dungeon. But still, I think... I think that we can still use uh, quite a few of the legendaries there and and improve the teams. Spider as well, Spider 17. This is the setup. Um, well, yeah, one cold heart. I think we can use this team exact the the exact team and beat it. Uh, it seems very uh, very tanky setup. And then Dragon 20. Okay, he completes Dragon 20, so that's fine. And Fire Knight again stuck at 17 at nine minutes 46. Uh, this is a setup with Allure and Razin. I think we can sort something better than this. Uh, we don't need Allure. Of course, Allure is very useful. But um, yeah, we can definitely make make do with all the dungeons. And here <laughs> we have uh, 15 keys for the clan boss. Uh, he told me he actually does only Brutal. Uh, only Brutal so far. So he does like 10 million on Brutal. And he hasn't really bothered with the clan boss anymore. So yeah, this is why I'm gonna tune up the the clan boss um, for him. The, the the tune up of the clan boss is gonna help him just get get those chests every day. Uh, you get lots of rewards through the clan boss. Maybe nightmare, ultra nightmare, of course. Uh, you get sacreds there. You get books. So you need to do the clan boss every single day. Uh, if you neglect it, then you're gonna miss out on a ton of rewards. Um, we finished the tune up on Jerry Vera's account and. Let's look at how we improve these characters first and then I'm going to show you what progress we managed to do. So we went in, changed the full gear for Venus. We went in for a lifestyle set and tried to get as much accuracy as possible. We couldn't fit in an accuracy chest there, so we actually had to break the sets, but it's fine. Her stats overall now are very close to 3000 defense. That's where you need to improve, man. You need to get her as close to 3000 defense as possible, at least if you want to uh, progress in the clan boss as well but she's fine the way she is right now her critical rate and critical damage were not uh, affected but accuracy 248 that's more than enough uh, for all the places in the game for arena of course you can go as high uh, as you want but um, for dungeons clan boss uh, and campaign she'll be fine at 248 next up we changed alton again lifestyle accuracy this is the theme of the whole tune-up because we were also gonna do a clan boss tune up here alton we tried to get at least 171 the uh, speed we couldn't reach it we didn't have any glyphs to improve uh but that's fine 170 uh it's still okay um we're gonna miss the first rotation but on the second one he he'll be able to uh 
uh, do his moves he's very good for the clan boss and with the lifestyle set and his mastery there he's gonna be be used just fine we also went in for duchess lily too we improved her gear overall her speed again over 170 we completely changed her uh, gear from having speed and life we put in a lifesteal and and a speed set here uh, with an hp chest here instead of uh, defense we could have gone defense but because duchess's skill also helps when she's got uh, high hp we also went high hp it's a good amount of defense 3000 defense is not bad and she's very useful everywhere as you can see guys most of the champions here have level 12 gear because of the limited amount of silver i had because i only had about 22 million silver and had so many champions to change their gear i usually say about 15 million for a tune-up and that's on the basis that i might need to change three or four champions here i changed uh one two three four five six with the cold heart and i changed some other gear on other characters as well but single pieces there so six characters for 22 million silver that's about three million per character and also moving the gear around costs lots of silver so yeah that's that's a lot too but let's look at miscreated monster miscreated monster uh we went for at least 200 accuracy 220 lots of speed so he can go at least twice everywhere that i used him uh he's so good at uh, with this speed that he has i think is 201 so one great amount of speed he's health 71,000. i know his critical rate and critical damage are very low but considering that he has look at this this is not even maxed out because i just i ran out of silver guys i just ran out of silver so i this you can max it out you'll gain another 21 percent crit i know the set is not good but the overall item is very nice look at all that speed 16 plus one and masteries we don't even have masteries here uh you can go helm smasher or just uh, flawless execution here i think flawless execution actually works better uh for miscreated monster uh and he'll be able to protect your team way way better uh, than he currently does next up um i was gonna do razin but i was ju i just ran out of items ran out of silver so skull crusher was the main one that i had to improve for sure almost all of his items are level 16 um uh, and this is what the theme the amulets banner and ring are level 12 i put in glyphs on everything every single glyph that i had available i try to put in except for this one that you guys see now so uh yeah his stats have overall been improved uh tremendously uh we went for at least uh three and a half thousand defense we actually managed to reach 4.1k he's gonna be very tanky the whole team is gonna be very tanky for the clan boss and we're gonna do the first run i haven't done a single run in the clan boss with this account so we'll see how he does 171 so he's exactly faster than the nightmare clan boss so that's great uh, his speed also helps him to stay at 171 ideally you would also go eventually for critical raid gloves for him to crit and gain some health back but because of the team that i'm gonna put him in there's gonna be a marshal in the team marshal i didn't even touch i saw that his gear was very good uh, and since we're gonna have a counter attack going in there he'll be able to heal up um quite often so i think he'll be fine with the current gear he has and marshal after the change i mean i was looking at crits at a hundred thousand in the dungeons and he's such a great champion uh this account is very nice but what it needed was a tune up to all of his gear tuning up every single piece of gear to, um for the right circumstance and um great hole considering this account the great hole is very weak so man uh, if you're watching this video improve your great hole try to get those wins and the way you do it your team is okay i mean it does need some improvement in terms of um better items on every single one of course you can use duchess in there instead you don't need to use a nuke setup right here you can use a duchess in there you can use a razin and go for a more tanky setup to kill the enemies you can also use probably miscreated monster like duchess miscreated monster marshal razin will be a very annoying team and will actually do a ton of damage in there i'm gonna show you how uh what i've done with the teams that i've uh, shown you that i've changed all the year so ice columns 20 of course completed the team that did the job was was this duchess in the lead uh we have shirimani there venus miscreated monster and mashal there um this team is a bit tanky it takes three and a half minutes of course but it does the job it beats um high school 20 and it helps to get that arbiter and once you get more gear going on each and every one of them level 16 complete the masteries on miscreated monster then you can start switching out champions in there for example uh, Shirimani can be sw switched in there and maybe you can put a royal guard in there although royal guard is not that good um, 
in my opinion for the ice columns the ice columns is the most tricky to tune because of how much damage the boss does so you're probably gonna need something with an attack down skill i haven't really seen his other champions a stagnite works very good here but he's got so many legendaries here that um oh yeah of course i didn't see the chris guys yeah we also have a chris but he still needs work on so once you get him level 60 he can be definitely put in this uh, in this uh, lineup right here and once you use the chris uh, you're going to be able to do it much faster uh, the same thing goes for dragon's lair as well i didn't touch dragon's lair but he could do it at 20 so that's good uh, he's probably going to be able to do it much quicker now with the changes that i did but i didn't try it out Next up was Fire Knight. Again, this was five minutes with this team. Uh, Skullcrusher is not even level 60, but that was fine. Even at level 51, uh, he managed to do the job. The idea here is use the counter attack, uh, slowly bring the shield down and then kill the enemy. Uh, the problem here is we don't have any terminator reduction and the uh, heal reduction debuff from Skullcrusher does not stick that easily uh, because of how much accuracy he has. He has very low accuracy and that's on purpose. So uh, once you get your cold heart a bit higher and much tankier, so you use an HP chest instead of an accuracy chest and uh, you get an accuracy banner on her um, so she stays above 200, then she'll be able to get Shirimani spot here. And the final one from the dungeons that I had to beat was, of course, Spider 20. Uh, this is my team. Guys, uh, it's the same as before, but instead we have Cold Heart in there at level 50. That was very tricky to use a Cold Heart at level 50. So we're going to go in and I'll show you how this actually works and the idea behind this is to create a tanky barrier around that Cold Heart and also keep reviving here. Because we have Duchess here, um, reviving Cold Heart is a possibility. So even if that Miscreated Monster Shield is dropped and the Spiralings attack us, then uh, we will revive her. But here we have so much protection guys look at this team with Mashalt and duchess and miscreated monster look at the spiralings they've got hp burn on them they've got true fear they got stun <laughs> they got leech every single look at them look at how low they are they keep dying and once they die with the hp burn the big spider takes that some damage as well so this is how the team can actually beat uh, the spider actually there Mashalt, if he didn't attack the spiralings all that HP burn would do way more damage to the boss, but it's it's still fine. Look at how much control we have here, guys. And, and even if the few spiralings that don't have any controlling debuffs on them attack, um, we are either under veil because of Duchess, or if um, like look look the spider moved here, and we didn't even uh, have anyone die. Even if someone dies, Duchess will revive. So. The combination of two top tier epics actually two top sorry guys the combination of three top tier legendaries uh and also miscreated monster uh helps make this team a possibility uh, even with the level 50 cold heart uh actually here you don't even need to have cold heart with that much critical damage you need here here for the terminator reduction on the boss so the spider the big spider takes as few turns as possible so she doesn't heal up if she heals up, it's not going to be a real issue for this team. It's just going to make this run way longer. And I didn't want that. So um, once you get level 60 on that Cold Heart and a bit more critical damage, about plus 200% with the proper gear on the Cold Heart, uh, the Spider will be so much easier. And you've got a Venus here. You've got a Royal Guard in this account. Uh, you've got another two Cold Hearts. So you can do like 18 second runs uh, with this with the champions that you have is just uh, taking them to 60 and putting the right gear on them um so you can do a way faster spider 20 run but as long as you can do here at three minutes at a hundred percent um success rate then it will be a possibility to gear them everyone with uh, level five and level six uh star uh amulets and banners so there we go we actually have a two minutes 30 that's not bad uh, look at all the damage 4.1 from Mashal, 3.3 from Coldheart, 4.8 from Venus because of all those HP burns. These were the dungeons, guys. The job was completed there, and the clan boss, of course. Look at the, how many keys this account has, guys. Um, and I was talking to the guy, and he told me, Man, I know I have so many keys, and it's because I got discouraged when fighting the clan boss. He found great difficulty in beating the clan boss. So I said, Okay, I'm gonna change your clan boss team as well. 
So we're gonna go immediately to Nightmare. He told me before he was doing about 10 million on Brutal. Uh, and the team that I'm gonna go in in Nightmare, I have no idea how it's gonna go and if it's gonna be successful. Uh, of course, I'm not gonna use Razin here because he's still a work in progress. I'm gonna use the champions that he has. So this is the team that I had in my mind. Um, here, it's only gonna be Venus for the poisons, but the combined tankiness of all the champions uh, will make the team last way more. I'm thinking this team uh, will go at least to 20 plus rounds, which means we're gonna get at least 20 millions uh, with this team. So yeah, let's go in. So um, yeah, we're in the fight right now and let's see how much damage we'll do to the boss. Uh, we've got a combination of leech, uh, a counter attack buff. Look at all the buffs that everyone has in there. The only problem with this setup guys is that uh, actually Mashalt will uh, tune out the team due to his speed buff that he gives to everyone. Uh, but I think overall in the end it's gonna still be a good team. It's gonna do at least 20 million damage. And by doing 20 million damage, it's like a two key nightmare. Uh, then you can do one key brutal. So uh, I'm gonna skip this video to the end to see how much damage uh, we actually managed to do to the boss. There we go, guys. Uh, the run has finished now with 22.92 million damage still. The most damage was done from Venus, of course. Uh, Duchess did quite a bit of damage, Skull Crusher, all 10. And here, Mashal did 4.6. In my opinion, if I didn't put Mashal in there, we could have gotten way more damage with another poisoner in there but this account does not have another poisoner with a war master so he could heal up uh potentially once we get level 60 on skull crusher and another poisoner uh this can even go to um, maybe 25 30 million uh it really depends uh on which poisoner you put in there but overall this team is very solid you can do 22.92 and that's a great uh, alternative than just doing 10 million on brutal so guys thanks a lot for watching this account tune up of course uh this uh, tune up took a bit of time because we had so many champions to work on uh next up should be next next one to work on uh, for this account will definitely be be chris chris is, is such a great champion to have uh he can be fit uh you can put um you can put chris everywhere and he'll do a tremendously good job uh we're gonna call brawler here for the poisons once you take him to 60 full masteries, he'll be a great poisoner uh, to go along with Venus uh, for the clan boss. And you should be able to get at least like 30 million uh, on the Nightmare clan boss with this kind of setup. So thanks a lot guys for watching. Uh, leave a like down below, comment on what you think of the tune-up. If you want to get a tune-up for your account, uh, hit me up on Discord guys. I do this kind of tune-ups all the time. So uh, thanks a lot guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.